Giant Squid, all you need to know. The Giant Squid, one of the most mysterious creatures on the planet. It can be longer than a bus, weigh almost a ton, and is rumored to have attacked sailors, whales, and even huge ships. Yet despite its massive size, we know very little about these elusive creatures. We've come to the National Marine Aquarium in Plymouth, one of the few places in the world that has a real squid specimen, to find out the facts about these monsters of the deep. Hello and welcome to the National Marine Aquarium. I'm Douglas Hudson and I'm the Information Officer here. Now, we've got a giant squid here, which is very unusual. We are very fortunate in getting it. It was caught back in January 2002, about 150 miles off the northwest of Scotland and it was sent down to the aquarium where we have able to preserve it and now have put it on display to the public. We don't really know whether giant squid are rare or not. Ours was the 25th ever to be found in the British Isles. Not many people go fishing down between 300 and 1000 metres where they live and so not many are going to get caught. The scientific name of the giant squid, Archituthis ducks, means first squid, king. It is the king of the first squid. This squid is comparatively small. How big does a giant squid grow? We don't quite know. The biggest one claimed was washed up on the shores of North America back about 1860 and was claimed to be 18 metres or 59 feet long. But certainly they go over 12 metres and probably about 15 metres and can weigh at least 200 kilos, if not more. The major part of the body with all the internal organs is called the mantle. And that would be a piece of this kind of length, a tube inside it, all the normal organs of an animal, plus the gills, and coming out of it, the head, the mouth, the eyes, which can be 20 centimetres across, the largest eye of any animal. It has eight arms, heavily armoured with suckers for grabbing the food and holding it. The tentacles much longer, and there the suckers are primarily on the clubs at their ends. Giant squid are fierce hunters. They will sense the movement of other creatures, grab it with those tentacles and then pass it up to the arms who will hold it to the mouth and in the mouth there's a large hard beak and that beak will tear the pieces out of it and it swallows those and in fact some of the material from the guts of some giant squid appears to be other giant squid so they may be cannibalistic on young and smaller specimens of their own type. One of the reasons why giant squid are so rarely sighted alive is that they live at incredible depths. It lives between 300 and 1,000 metres down in the dark. Giant squid have to stay at about the same level most of the time. What deep sea squid do have to stop their bodies getting too heavy and sinking, they have ammonia in their tissues. Ammonia is lighter than water and therefore enables them to stay in the middle depths of the ocean without sinking to the seabed. They can then move. This is probably done by slow waves of movement through the fins. When they need to move fast, they shoot water out of their funnel and move backwards very rapidly in a form of jet propulsion that gives them a directional movement fast away from the source of danger or towards their food. If they're hunting. Like everything else about the giant squid, its mating habits are rather unusual. For a start, it's a very short life. We don't know, we suspect, uh, it may only be three years. They breed once and then die. When they come across a suitable female, they will move up to them and they have a metre long penis that comes out and stabs into the female's arms and leaves behind long string-like tubes packed full of sperm. Now these burrow into and remain in the female's arms until she is ready to produce her eggs. We do know the males 
have to be pretty brave to try to mate. Often the females are a third bigger than the males and the male has to get close to the female to mate with her and she's got a big beak. Quite often the males are found afterwards with an arm missing or at least rips and tears to the body which we suspect have come about from trying to mate. We can only imagine the carnage that may ensue when this mighty creature encounters some of the ocean's other great beasts. We know that squid will fight with some whales, particularly the sperm whale, but this is presumed to be mainly when they are defending themselves from being eaten. There are a few stories, one of a squid attacking a young right whale, which certainly wouldn't have been feeding on the squid, and another of one attacking a small sperm whale. The story is that the whale was killed by the squid, but the squid itself died as well in the fight. There are many bizarre and often gruesome tales of the giant squid, but can they be believed? There are many stories of giant octopus, but that would probably be giant squid in fact, attacking boats and attacking people. There's a fairly recent case where one is supposed to have attacked a racing yacht, but it could have been one dying at the surface, the boat ran into and it wrapped itself around it. The first piece of giant squid that was actually taken into a scientific laboratory to be studied and from which the giant squid was scientifically named comes from a very strange story. Supposedly, there were uh, two men and a boy went out fishing on the Atlantic coast of Canada in a small boat and when the tentacles came up, grabbed one of the fishermen and started trying to pull the boat over. The young lad, by the name of Tom Pico, took an axe and chopped the tentacle, making the squid let go and disappear, leaving 19 foot of tentacle in the boat that was then sent down to Dr. Vril at Harvard University and is now in the museum there. It's a lovely story, but no real proof of it. I certainly don't think the average person has much to worry about from them. So how exactly can we find and study a creature that lives in such a murky and mysterious world? Giant squid are very hard to study because they're hard to find. Nothing was known about their behavior in the depths until very recently when a Japanese crew put baited hooks with a camera down at 900 meters in the seas to the south of Japan and actually got a giant squid to come up, take the bait, struggle to take it off for about 25 minutes, and in the end got its own tentacle caught on one of the hooks and swam away, tearing off its own tentacle. In that case, we found they were much more vigorous and more aggressive than we had suspected before. So we don't know very little about them and we're trying to find more all the time. Different methods are being tried, but all very, very difficult and very expensive. The ocean holds many mysteries, and whilst we know more about the giant squid than ever before, there is still so much more to learn about this incredible creature. Every time we find a tiny bit more about the giant squid, we find we know less. They're marvellous creatures living in a world we cannot understand, and there's many more marvellous things down there. It's a wonderful realm, and we need to explore it and find out more about it.